Aw, don't you just love this wonderful little crutter? I love him too, and I'm so excited to say hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. I'm excited because today, of course, is going to be a lanky episode because we're going to go inside Gloomy Galleon, and we are finishing it off today. I mean, Lanky Kong's the last one here. He was also last for Frant Frantic Factory. Will he be last for the next stage as well? Who knows? So right now, the water level is actually down. I want it to be up, but I'm also lazy. So I'm going to show you guys the exploit to not have to raise the water level to go over here. So we're going to go right up to this pillar here. And I'm going to wait. As you can see, the water kind of goes up and down. I'm going to wait until it goes up a bit like that. And then I'm going to jump and attack. And you know what? That's actually the wrong pillar. Let's go to this one. And right when the water gets to its peak like that, there we go. We can jump attack and we are on the wall. So let's turn back around, whip out our gun, and shoot this guy like 20 times. If I could actually aim. Wow, actually a lot of those managed to hit the guy. Yeah, you get him, Linky Kong. Give him all those grapes. We got the blue blueprint done already. Let's move on. We're gonna go up this way and we're gonna go a little bit towards Cranky Kong. Now a couple episodes ago during Chunky Kong's part, we primate punched this giant fence thing over here, and inside was the Battle Arena pad, so we did the Battle Arena as Chunky Kong already. Uh-oh! That barrel. It has a T on it! Lanky Kong hates T's! Let's go ahead and blow that guy up for that. Let's go over this- Oh gosh! There's another T on that barrel! Let's blow that one up too. But anyways, over this way, there was a fence we destroyed, and inside is gonna have these two balloons for Lanky Kong. So the Battle Arena we already did as Chunky, but these things we need to get, of course, as Lanky Kong himself. Let's go ahead and get some more ammo here. And now I'm going to go up top, and I am going to go to uh, to Warp 3 so I can turn in my blueprint already. Feels kind of weird because we just got it, but yeah, it's time to turn it in. So we'll hop up here, and let's go hop along these vines. I just want to get out of here before we see those TNT barrel guys again. The letter T, it's dangerous, man. So let's go through here. Let's get inside Snide. And this time, guys, we're gonna skip the animation. Oh, All right, got that done. Banana number 106. Let's go look at those blueprints. Looking good. Oh, what do you mean we're still missing one of the donkeys? Okay, we'll get that today as well. Yeah, let's get back out of here, guys. And we're gonna go take a little dip. Let's hop in that water. And I wanna swim down this way because it's gonna be that box that lets us transform into on guard, which we do want to do, but first I wanna grab all the stuff underneath because there's a bunch of blue crud. Now, all of the treasure chests that we can break underwater on this side of the stage, they're all for Lanky Kong, which is why I haven't been breaking them during the other Kongs episodes. So there's gonna be five chests to break on this side. I mean, there was five on the other side as well, but they were for all the different Kongs with those different coins, but this side is gonna be all Lanky Kong. So let's go up. And let's get inside. So on this level of the ocean, there's gonna be two boxes to break. So we got one right here, and one on the other side. So there's gonna be some bana bananas inside, but we can't collect them as on guards. So we have to break these all, and then we'll transform back to Lanky Kong. So then we'll go down one level, and this level has two boxes to break as well. Let's see if I can find the other one. I think it's on the other side of this pillar here. There you are. So we'll go ahead and break him open. And then down one more level, there's going to be one more treasure chest. And inside, it's going to be a golden... I just picked up some film. But a golden banana. And before I transform back into Lanky Kong, guys, I want to point out that this is a very, very special golden banana to me. Because if we pause, you can see that I have 106 golden bananas right now. And 106 is the exact number that I have on my childhood save file. I had almost 48 hours of playtime and 106 golden bananas. When I grab this one, we're going to officially pass what I managed to do as a kid. So take that, 8-year-old me. We now have 107, guys. So we got that one done as well. Oh, man, take that, childhood. Hello, this is Psycho from the future. I totally goofed and forgot to grab these four bundles of bananas that I just broke open, so ignore my banana count. I'm just inserting this clip now. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, uh, a brain-frying day. Over on my other channel, Psycho Crud, I've been doing a playthrough of the Nintendo Switch version of Super Mario 3D World, and I'm at the portion where I have to finish every single level as every single character. So I've been grinding that for like six hours today. And, uh, I'm a little bit brain fried, but, uh, we'll get these bananas and we'll move on. So, sorry for the slop in this episode, guys, but my brain is goo. 
Oh gosh, where are they? I should get up to 85 by the time I get all 20. Uh, where are the other ones? I think I got the ones on this layer, and then I have to go get the ones down here. So there's one, and there should be one on the other side as well. Oh no, that's 85. We're good. Okay, so let me just uh, go back to where I was. Anyways, we're going to go back to the tag barrel here, and I'm going to go over to Donkey so we can work towards getting his blueprint. So the way we're going to do that is... Well, first off, I want to get this water level raised. Let's see if I can find the button. Where are you, button? You're on there somewhere. Oh, that's the wrong button, dude. All right, let's go around to the other side here. Let's see if we can turn ourselves around. There it is. So let's go press that button in. And once we get that one, I'm going to go up top and let's take warp number five here. Let's wait for that water to go up. And let's see if we can find warp number five. Yeah, skipping the donkey button. We already did that one. And once we go in here, now I want to go over and take... What the crud? Game, why did you banana port me under the warp? They did not realize I raised the water level, so it warped me to where it would have been if the water level was down. I don't know what that was. That was very strange. But let's go ahead and take warp number four here. And this one will put us right above where Donkey's blueprints are. So here we are. And what I'm going to do is drop down just a bit here. And there's the guy. So I'm going to charge up a shockwave. And then just drop down and ambush him. Take that guy. So we grab the blueprint. And now we'll drop all the way down. And down here is going to be another tag barrel somewhere. Uh, oh, <laughs> way down there. Okay. So let's go and tag back over to Lanky. We'll go turn in uh, Donkey's blueprint a bit later. But right now, I want to make sure I get the, th the things in this cave as Lanky. So let's go back up. Let's grab some goodies. Yeah, we're going to do lots of inflating right now. Honestly, looks kind of painful, Lanky Kong. Oh, get up there. There you go. Whoa, buddy. Let's grab that one. There should be five blue bananas on these uh, coin stacks here. So I got to make sure I don't miss anything as we're on our way up here. Uh, I think I can just jump across. I don't need the inflatey. Okay, I need the inflatey. Let's inflate back up here. Don't fall off. Good. Jump up. This should be the last one we have to take here. How high can we go, though? That what? I got stuck in the wall, I think. I got stuck in the wall. Come on, Lanky. You can do better than that. There we are. We'll go ahead and grab that one. And then we can just work our way up here. Let's go grab this final one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be trying to pound these coins. So that should bring us up. Yep, to 35. So now we'll go grab this guy and get to a new mini game. I don't think we've ever played this one before. Searchlight Seek. So let's see what we have to do for this one. Find and shoot all the clap traps. Press A to fire a melon. So that's all we have to do is shoot the guy. The trick is that it's going to be dark, so we have to actually search around to find them. And also, these guys are walking around, so you kind of have to lead your shot a bit. If you try to aim directly where they are, you might just miss. You kind of want to shoot a bit in front of them. And I like to shoot a bit in front and a bit to the side, because they like to rotate a lot as well. Right here, maybe? Got him. There we go, guys. So that one's not too bad there. Give me my golden banana! Alright, already out three out of five for Lanky Kong. Going by pretty quick here. Let's go ahead and drop on down. Drop on down. Come on, Lanky, all the way. Drop on down. And we're gonna swim back out here. I'm gonna go back to the entrance tunnel, which leads to the other side of the stage, because I actually do need the water level to be lowered to play the music pad on this side as uh, Lanky Kong. So we're gonna have to go lower that again. But I do also want to just go up here because we're going to have a blue balloon to shoot. Let's go over and let's pop it. Come on. Did any of... Okay, one of those hit. I'll take it, man. As long as one hits it, I'm good. So now let's go over this way and we're going to go past this dude. Ow! The Kasha just hit me and guys, I just realized I missed a collectible earlier. We'll get it. We're going to go back to the other side of the stage soon, but I forgot to get those three blue coins that were inside a little side area, so we'll get those. But what I want to do is come inside here and I want to go and hit this lanky switch. There we go. And just like we had during Tiny's episode, it's going to open up a little extra area in the ship right here. And by the way, guys, we are not going to be going out of bounds today. I know that during the last three episodes in a row, we've had out-of-bound collectibles to get, but we're not going to be getting any out-of-bound collectibles today. So we'll, we'll take a little bit of a break from those. Let's go down into this open area. And inside here, we're going to have a bunch of blue bananas to get. Let's sneak on through. 
We'll have five right here, and these, this line of five will lead us to another unguard box. Let's go ahead and transform, and we've got four different chests to break open. Each one is going to contain one blue coin, which is all important in its own right. But on top of that, one of them is also going to open up a side path. So if there's a blue coin there, these front two are also just blue coins, so we'll go ahead and smash those open. We'll grab them on the way back out once we're done being Swordfish Man. And this last one here, let's break him open. And it will contain a blue coin, but like I was saying, there's also going to be a secret path, so let's go inside. We're going to swim down this super long tunnel all the way to the other side. I like to swim as Unguard because I think he's just a bit faster at swimming than Mikey. I could be wrong there, but I think that's true. And now we'll go ahead and grab this guy. Four out of five done. One more to go. And on the way back out, we'll go ahead and grab this bundle of five bananas as well as those four blue coins. So there was the one right at the entrance of this tunnel here. So we'll make sure we get that guy. Got him. And then we're going to go up this way, get this one, and then get the two over by the entrance. I know we should be pretty safe to head on back out of here. So let's swim on and grab that. I'm not going to worry about the film because we already got both of the, uh, we already got both of the banana fairies for this stage. So now we'll go back out. And out here, I'm going to go back to Unguard once again, actually, because I need to go break the chest that has the three blue bana uh, banana bunch coins as well. So we'll swim on over. And you know what? Let's finally get this bundle of bananas. There it is, man. Let's turn back around. And let's go transform one more time. And the one from Lanky Kong is going to be kind of over this way here. So we'll swim down. And it should be that one right there. And that's pretty much it for Swordfish Man. By the way, you can't actually attack these guys. I always found that kind of strange. But you can press your B attack right here, and it doesn't actually hurt these dudes, which is kind of a bummer. Seems like it would just totally make sense for you to be able to attack them, but you can't. All right, so long, and guard. We'll never see you again. We'll grab those three coins. All right, man. So with that, we're going to go back up, and we're going to take Warp 5, and we're going to go turn into Blueprint as Donkey Kong. And hopefully I will not forget to go get those three blue coins I forgot to grab earlier. Let's go inside here. And since the water level is still up right now, we can just pretty easily go along. So let's go back to Snide, who should be right back, right over there. So we'll swim along, we'll swap over to Donkey Kong, there's a uh, tag barrel right next to the guy. And once again, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and cut out this animation. So we'll just swap over and I'll meet you guys once we actually get the, uh, the golden banana there. And there we go, up to 110. And now we can go look at our blueprints, and you'll see we have it over halfway completed. We got all four of the first levels completely done, as well as two out of five for DK Isles itself. So three main stages to go, plus DK Isles, and we'll be done with blueprints, man. And that's it for you, Donkey. Get, ba get back out of here, man. Lanky hates when people take up screen time on his episodes, dude. Don't you know that? So I'll make sure I get those three blue coins that I forgot to grab earlier. Kind of embarrassed, man. My cheeks are bright red with embarrassment. You'd say brighter than Linky's nose. So bright, dude. I'm blushing, man. We'll go over here. And we got a, f a few coins right there. So let's go ahead and grab those. Get up to 94 blue coins. And now we're going to go back through the tunnel once again. Wait, whoa, whoa. Not going to goof this time, guys. Let's go and lower the water level first. There we are. And now we'll run on through. So we're going to have to do a kind of tricky jump right here. I could try to go for a backflip like I did for Tiny and Diddy. I don't know if his would reach. Uh, it might, but you can also just kind of jump in the water. <laughs> I was going to say, you can also just jump and grab on the ledge like that. So we're good. I want to show something about cautious. I did know about this, but a couple of you guys pointed this out as well. So I figured, you know, it's probably a good thing to show off. So with the cautious, you actually can defeat them with an orange, but only if they get their club stuck in the ground first. So they go like that. And once the club gets stuck in the ground, then you can attack them from behind and get them with the uh, orange right there. So that's another way to take them out. I usually just prefer to either just run past them or go for a shockwave, but that is a way you could do it. So, all right, now that the water level is down, we're going to go over to the cactus over this way, and we'll get that trombone played. Yeah, uh, Linky Kong, as well as one of the other ones, I always forget who, but uh, one of the other ones, I think it was Diddy. You have to have the water level lowered to actually play them over here. So let's go up. There should be five bananas on top of the trombone pad as well. There we go, man, up to 65, not bad. Whoa, what's this? My banana count is suddenly 85, wow. I mean, you guys saw the clip I spliced in earlier, so that explains that. Yeah, kind of brain goo today. 
and I'm pretty sure this game auto saves, so I can't just like restart the recording or whatever, but it's not that big of a deal. Just a couple of minor mistakes there. So we got everything sorted now. So let's go ahead and play that trombone and let's go swim inside the ship. Let's get to it, Lanky. Kind of a long swim, but they give you so much time that it really doesn't matter too much. We should be able to get there with like 40 seconds to spare or something like that. So on the ship here, it's the left side. And then the first entrance is the one we're looking for. It's right over here. Oh, almost got it. Wow, <laughs> I was pretty much right about 40 seconds to spare. Wasted a couple more seconds on the entrance there, but mostly pretty accurate. So let's go get inside. Don't really need to worry about these crystal coconuts. All I'm worried about is the bananas. Yep, all of the remaining bananas are inside here, as well as three ba uh, banana coins right here. So Lanky getting pretty close to that glorious 100. Almost, man. Those, and there should be one more bundle over on this side. Uh-oh. Leave me alone, enemies. Not quite. Ah, there you are. So we'll grab this, and on top of this bed for some reason, there is... Camera. Camera, please. Right here, there is a golden banana. I don't know what someone was doing in bed with a banana, but there you go, man. We are now officially completely done with Gloomy Galleon. All the collectibles are gotten. My question is, and I actually don't know the answer to this, when I go to All Kongs, will it show 501? It will, okay. So during my test run, um, I collected the final banana before I actually turned any into the boss fight with Tiny Kong. And because of that, it stopped the counter at 100, even though I technically collected 101. But because I turned stuff in at Trop and Scoff a third before collecting that final banana, that's like it worked out. So we got 501 bananas, guys. And speaking of Trop and Scoff, let's go inside, because we're going to go and fight the boss right now. Of course we are. So let's swim over this way. And let's see, where do we want to enter? There's a whole bunch of portals in this stage. But I'm thinking the one that is kind of off by the ship, which I think is on this side. Right over here. Yep, that ship right there. So right behind that one is a Trop and Scoff portal, so we'll go take that one. And lots to choose from. I think there's like five or six entrances. So let's head inside. We already turned in 100 bananas as Tiny Kong, so we're good there. So we'll go turn in 100 as Lanky Kong here, and then 50 more as someone else. So <laughs> enjoy these weird hippo sounds. <laughs> Almost worked, but we have to go get 50 more, so who gets to do the honors? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just like hold down the joystick like this and close my eyes and choose them. Who did we get? We got Donkey! Alright, Donkey. Well, Donkey also got to, to turn in some blueprints today, so that's pretty cool. But we'll give him those 50 remaining bananas and then we'll go and get this door open. Alright guys, as you can see, this one is going to be for Lanky Kong. So let's go on over, and let's get to a very, very cool boss fight. Is it Mad Jack cool? No, but it's pretty cool, man. Let's get inside the scary, sparkly room and see what we got. <laughs> There it is, the boss fight with Puff Toss themselves. We're here as Lanky Kong in our tiny little boat, and this guy's gonna <laughs> barrage us with fire. What we have to do is use the Z button to go and drive and get through these DK switches. So there is the first one. We have to go through a series of five of these just to damage this guy, and just to refresh our boat controls. Z is go, A is jump, and if you hold down R, you'll get some sharper turns. So we have to get to the next target before the timer runs out each time. 
if the timer hits zero, then the sequence is going to restart and we'll have to go all the way from the beginning. So, all right. Let's go see if we can get that final one. Where are you, you switch? There you are. All right. So once we get five, we've got one point of damage. Four more to go. And things get more and more tricky as we go through this fight, guys. Sometimes we'll do a shockwave attack. Just like that, we got to get away. But now, instead of having 30 seconds on the clock, we only get 25. On top of that, we're now going to have even smaller targets. Only slightly smaller, but as we go through the fight, they're going to get smaller and smaller. It's going to be pretty crazy. I've already taken a few points of damage, so i got to be very careful, dude. Ah, oh, I've never actually died on this boss before, but maybe today is the day. We need to be careful, man. Let's get that switch if I can. I'm not doing so hot. Let's wait for the shockwave to go away. And go, 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 go. Got it. Okay, that should be five. So there's the second point of damage done. I'm down to just half of my life left. So four more shots will kill me. Oh, that gate spawned right on top of me. So this time only 20 seconds. And even smaller targets. Watch out, watch out for the shockwave. I went too soon. This is bad, guys. We're down to just three HP right here. The fire is raining from the sky. Over here. Got it. Two more. There's one. No shockwave. No shockwave. Good. Good. Okay. Three shots down. Two to go. Except uh, I am also down to just three HP. This is very, very dangerous. And well, the timer is going to be even shorter and the target's even smaller. 15 seconds on the clock right now. Can we do this one? Watch for that fire. Watch for that fire. All right. Over here, we got one. Okay. Three more. Three more. There's one. Make it two more. Come on. Doing pretty good at dodging the damage right now. Where are you, you target? There it is. Gotta get close. Okay, one more. Oh. Where are you? Whoa, fire! Come on. There it is, there it is. Yes. Alright, guys. One more round. But now, as you might predict, only ten seconds per target. And they are going to be very small. There's one. That was kind of a freebie. Let's go. I'm doing pretty good on HP now. Uh, I haven't taken damage in quite a while, so I think that challenge is behind us. What we need to focus on is just getting these targets. There's one. Got it. Oh, gosh. I got turned around, but I think we're fine. Two more. There's one. Yes! Yes, one more. Come on! Where is it, dude? Where are you, you crud? No, no. Yes, yes! Yes! I didn't miss it. There it is, guys. Puff Toss is defeated! Man, it feels like it's been so long since we've gotten a DK key. But it is time to get one once again. Let's grab that crud. Oh, I love Lanky Kong and his tiny little boat. It's so adorable, man. But that's it. Gloomy Galleon is done. We got all the collectibles. We got the key. And we are ready to leave. And we are ready to wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time and we will start my favorite stage in the entire game. I'll see you guys then. Take care.